we got a fun episode today. I'm excited to talk about this. Healing and energy healing can be such a confusing thing. Uh, wonder, you know, there's so many different uh, types of energy healing. And so I want to talk to you about what that is for me and, and how I see that it all comes together. But first, I want you to go to our website at All Things Possible, www.allthingspossible.biz. Um, it's supposed to be right here. Hey, um, it's not here. I'm so sorry. Caption guy! Caption guy! I need the caption! People are waiting for it! Oh, great, great. Funny, funny guy. Hey, you can be replaced. You know that, right? I need it down. Thank you. Okay. Right here at the bottom, visit us at www.allthingspossible.viz. Lots of great information on our channel. Hey, guy, you just can't hire good help anymore. You know that? Anyway, the lots of good information and the thing we'd love for you to give you is our free gift of seven traits to creating all things possible in your life. It's a lot of great information and you can do a lot with just by following these seven simple traits and incorporating them into your life. So enough said about that. Let's get right into the business of healing, of energy healing, what that's all about and how it all relates to frequency and vibrational frequency. How many of you talk to your plants or have heard of people talking to their plants? Most people believe that if you talk to your plants that they will do better. Why is that to the plants? I don't know where the ears are on the plants, so to speak. Why do they do better? And I think it has to do, and I, this is my, my feeling is, I believe it has to do with the, uh, the vibrational energy. Each word we speak has a different frequency. If I say God, or if I say shoot, these have a very different vibrational frequency to each of these words. Each thought that we think everything, every color has its own vibrational frequency and everything, if you, you know, colors, sounds, they all have their own frequency. And this is what I, where I believe that healing takes place and when we speak these higher vibrational frequency words to our plants with our intent, they feel that and at a higher vibrational frequency they grow better, they do better and I believe that's why that our plants actually do better when we speak to them. Now, if we tell them they're stupid idiots and that we hate them and they're taking up space, they're not going to do as good, obviously. So it does matter the words. It isn't just a matter of speaking words. It matters the kind of words and our thoughts that we project towards the plants. The same thing happens uh, with many things in nature. I have a book here, and you may be familiar with this, uh, The Hidden Messages in Water by Masaru Emoto. A uh, Japanese gentleman wrote this book. It's an amazing book. If you have not heard or read of this, please get this book and read it. It is, there, there's so much information here to make you look at life in a different way. And what Masuru, uh, and I hope I'm saying his name right, forgive me if I'm not, but, but what Mr. Emoto says is that, or, or what he found is that he could take droplets of water and flash freeze them after being exposed to different things and the water would look very different um, depending on what he'd exposed it to. He would take water from a very polluted river and flash freeze a, a, a droplet of that water and it would be very ugly and I'm going to see if I can get caption guy! Okay, I'm going to see if I can get him to put up something somewhere here on the screen not on top of my face, thank you very much. Uh, some different examples of what these water droplets, when they're fresh frozen, what they look like. And if you expose them to words of love or even a Mozart symphony, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry. They, it shows a very, very beautiful crystal as you can, I hopefully, if we get caption guy doing his job here, as you can see. And yet if we, uh, if we say you fool or I will kill you or something like that, the same droplet of water can be very uh, look very distorted, and what this shows, and and what his whole work in this message is, or the hidden messages in water is, that what is exposed to the feelings, the words, even if it's exposed to prayer, 
will definitely change the actual composition of water. Now, here's your go back to school, your science quizzes. How, how much of our bodies are what percent water? We're about 80% water, different parts of our body more than others. More or less, we're 80% water. And if water is changes so much when it's exposed to those kind of words, imagine what our body does when it is exposed to lower frequency words. And we get into the self-talk and, you know, oh, I'm stupid. I can't do that. I, I'm overweight. I'm, I'm a failure. I'm not. I can't. I won't. All of these things are very, very low frequency emotions and feelings and that causes our body to pull down where our body the different parts of our body are they're supposed to operate it at very high frequencies each one at its own but when we start getting these things trapped inside of our body it will act like go back to the pictures of the water crystals what do we expose our body what do we expose our thoughts to or our body to by the things we think and the words that we speak and the environment around us and it's no wonder that we have bad health and so my take whether whether you like to heal or you've heard of healing through aromatherapy through smell color therapy um, essential oils vitamins and minerals herbs they all have a frequency and they affect certain parts of our bodies that operate at the frequency if one herb is good for the heart, it's because that herb vibrates at the frequency that is similar to that of the heart, and so it will help the heart heal and get to that frequency. And those can all do a lot, and they do a lot, to, um, to help with the healing and the health. And so my take is it's all about, no matter what kind of energetic or natural healing you're using, it's all about frequency and getting things up back to the proper vibrational frequency. Um, when I first got into energy healing, probably 12, even more years ago than that, 12, 15 years ago, one of the first things I did was bought this little device, or, well, the predecessor to it. This is the, uh, it's a bioenergetic, bioenergetic, biofeedback. Let me read it properly. Jerry, okay, anyway, it's bioenergetic feedback. This is called a SCANAR device, S-C-E-N-A-R. The Russians uh, developed this as a system of healing for their cosmonauts that were up in the space stations because they knew they couldn't send medication up because they were recycling everything. And if one person in the space station took some kind of a, a drug or a prescription for something, as they recycled all their stuff, pretty soon everyone would be medicated with the same thing and they knew that was not possible. And so they was looking for a different way of healing and maintaining health and they come up with this little device here that does it through electrical frequency between the two different contacts here. And this is similar if you've seen the TENS machine that they use for people that are injured. This is similar to a TENS machine. It's a fantastic machine. Believe it or not, this little small device uh, it cost me about $2,500. It's very, very sophisticated. And at the different modes, it will run through an infinite variable of frequencies. And it actually feels like just a, a slight electrical charge or electrical shock um, to the body wherever you're applying that. And the theory behind this, and it does work, is that if I have something wrong with my wrist and I hold this on there for two minutes, that as it cycles through that infinite number of frequencies, sooner or later it will hit the right frequency that my wrist is looking for. It'll lock onto that and that'll create the healing that it needs because it gets the proper vibrational frequency, a higher frequency, because for some reason the frequency dropped down and then I'm having problems with, with the wrist, the sore or, or whatever is going on. And that's the, uh, the theory behind the uh, tenant biomodulator. And these work very, very well. But that's what I first got into, and I, and I started to understand that it's all about vibrational frequency. I don't use this as much, uh, very little, uh, as I work with clients now. It's a great device. Uh, I don't have any problems or, or, you know, totally recommend it if someone is using that or is looking into it. It's a great way to heal. It doesn't take, uh, it's a matter of turning it on and, and holding it uh, at certain either reflex points or right directly on the area you're trying to, to work with to heal. But the fact is that everything in your body 
has its frequency it wants to work at. I have here two tuning forks. I have a couple of sets of different forks. This is out of my organ set. This fork here, I've written lung on it. And this one, I've written pancreas. And I just grabbed two out of my set for example here. The lung fork, down here at the bottom, it has a little number that says what frequency. And that, uh, at 220 hertz is, is what this vibrates at. And so when the lungs, and, and this is tested um, that the lungs optimum health operate at 220 hertz frequency. And so I'm going to hold that up maybe just so you can hear a little bit. And so if I take this, if my if I'm having problem breathing or something going on with my lungs, and I take this and just hold it in the area of my lungs, it will start to resonate with this frequency. My lungs are going, oh yes, I've been down, and I and this helps me pull back up. This is the, the, the frequency I was supposed to vibrate at. And so just like when you, a piano tuner, well, these are not piano forks, obviously, but when they tune a piano, they'll strike the fork, hold it in proximity to the string, and the string will start to vibrate when the string is in tune with the fork. Without ever touching, is through resonance, okay? And our organs, our body does the same thing through resonance. It helps it go back to healing. So this again, using tuning forks is a very effective method and you can take the stem and really in, induct the vibration that way okay, into the lungs and, and it's a great way to help the lungs get back to where they want. But they're supposed to be at, what was our number? 220 hertz. Okay, uh, Pancreas has a, a different number. Every organ in our body, our muscles, our, our bones, our tendons, each have their own frequency that they operate at. Uh, the pancreas, it's 117.3 is what it wants to operate at, okay? And as you see, it sounds just a little bit different, has a different sound to it. And so if I was using uh, aromatherapy, the whatever aromas or, or scents work well for the lungs would be very close to this vibrational frequency is, is their energetic signature that they have. All that being said, that's a little bit um, boring, right? But here's what I've come to in healing. The body is supposed to be a self-maintaining machine. Just like your car, every morning, as long as you keep gas in it and maintain it, service it properly, you can expect to go out in the morning, turn the key, and it will start. And you never have to worry about your battery. The, body, the car takes care of your battery, right? It has all these little computers and the different regulators and things that keep the battery charged at just the right level. Okay, So if you go out one morning and your car won't start, you may get your neighbor to come over and give you a jump start with cables and you can get to work. Here's where that would be like us all once having a cough in the lungs or, or whatever else, a sore somewhere, that something that's sore somewhere in the body. This is where breakdown begins. And so you say, oh, well, I need to take a certain prescription or I need to take a certain additive. And so, you know what? If every morning I have my neighbor come over and jumpstart my car, I can get to work every day, right? And I'll just have somebody give me, and I keep going. And that's kind of how, you know, many people, and we get into stuck patterns of maintaining our health. I take this for my lungs. I take this for my pancreas. You know, I take that for my stomach. Uh, and we're getting little jump starts everywhere we go. But yet, if we stop and think about it, you know, if you have to jump start your car two or three mornings in a row, you figure out there's a problem. You know, some little computer, some regulator, maybe a fan belt is loose. What's going on? Maybe the battery is, is burned out. But you know that if you take it to your mechanic and have him fix it, or her, get that car fixed, then you don't have to worry about the battery anymore. You know that it'll just be there to start that car. It can sit for two, three weeks, two, three months, it doesn't matter. When you go out and hit that key, it's there and ready to go. It self-maintains, it takes care of itself. That's the way our bodies are designed to be, to take care of itself. And why don't they? Well, your car, it might be, let's just call something simple, the fan belt is loose and worn out, and so it won't spin the little battery charger upper thingy. It's called an alternator but it won't spin that fast enough, right? So it doesn't quite get the charge back into the battery. Well, what, what goes on when my lungs are bad? Okay, what brings that? 
If, and if I go through life and I have, I start, I have a lot of negative self-talk, but I have a lot of negative emotions, and I start feeling a lot of grief, a lot of doubt, and, and I feel these deeply, but these emotions, these things get locked up inside of me, and they can go to the lungs or the liver or the pancreas or, or whatever. They can get stuck anywhere in the body, and then all at once, our batteries, we got a dead battery. We start having stomach problems or breathing problems, be what you will. It's an indicator that something's out of balance. And as an intuitive energy, energy healer, what I like to do, rather than just go in and, you know, I, I could take a client and, and uh, they come to me with uh, lung problems. I could treat their lungs and, and different points, reflex points to, to access the lungs and treat that and they would feel better and they may you know maybe that was all it needed was just one little boost you know it's kind of like leaving your lights on overnight but many many times they feel better for a week for two weeks and then they have to come back for another treatment and it's we get stuck in this pattern of hey I need a jump start can you give me a jump start pretty soon your neighbors are trying to avoid you right what I have found is I've tried many different uh, use many different energy healing modalities is that if I can go in as and as an intuitive find the underlying reason is it trapped emotions is it a grudge that you're holding on to from the past some some you need to do some forgiveness work and especially with yourself and if we can go in and clear that stuff out well the body will self correct it's amazing many times when I work on people with with their spine you know they've been go to the chiropractor regular appointments every week or two into the chiropractor because I have a back problem, right? And yet I can go in and find uh, sometimes a couple of trapped emotions, a couple of energies that are out of balance, maybe some toxins, something like that. Clean that stuff up and all at once they don't need to go back to their, you know, their regular checkups. They don't need to go get their jump start done over and over again, right? So that's the the thing behind healing and what I believe is that if we can find the underlying causes, the, the underlying imbalance and correct that, then the body will maintain itself and we don't have to keep going and getting a jump start to get going. So just some thoughts, very simple uh, as to what energy healing is and regardless of the modality and the things that we use, I really believe that if we find the underlying causes, correct those Im imbalances and take care of them, but the body will maintain and heal itself. So, health to you. If you would like to have a visit with me and see if maybe you would like to work with me in the future, I'd be more than happy to spend about 20 minutes as, a, as an offer or a free gift to, um, if you will email me, thank you, Caption Guy. Okay, if you'll email me right here, see he did good. You good boy, thank you. Okay, so. If you'll email me at www.allthingspossible.biz then and say, hey, I would like to have a 20 minute session with you. We can uh, talk on the phone, talk about what's going on with you and do, and do a couple of quick little things. See if we can find some underlying imbalances and see if maybe it would be beneficial for you to work with me in the future or at least you could experience that. So that's my offer to you. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for listening to me. We sure appreciate seeing you guys. I actually don't see you. But we appreciate you having checking in with us every week on our channel. And have a great day. Bye-bye.